Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your 2019 <laughs> Equinox reading. I'm going to be using the deck of the Qatars, the Qatars with an S and maybe a C and the H there, you can find it and look for the story, it's very interesting. The only thing I'm going to say about it is that it's a medieval religion, uh, a people who believed with, that he lived within the matrix, they only called it the shadow world. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about it and look it up for yourself. It's a very interesting story about real medieval times. So without further ado, let's get into your reading, shuffle a bit more. I'm going to pull five cards, one concerning a problem, two with negative aspects on the problem and two with positive aspects on the problem concerning your situation. So measure twice, cut once. And I use the problem to negative aspects, to positive aspects. Let's get into it. The problem. We have the lovers. So with the lovers of the problem, you might be having a quarrel with your spouse. So within this aspect, uh, let me tell you a little about the... Uh, the um the way how the Qatars went about love and sex so in the time there was the the most christians go to an ascetic life they practiced the free love that will be called later so it looks to the sense of their belief that humanity in its physical aspect is uh, emerge from a devil a false god that only flesh and was a shell of the true self. The true self was the spirit. By this, they had the Qatars apparently had an, an exceptional balanced uh, pose towards sex. The usual disciples of the Qatars lived within a normal life, married and have a family within the rest of the people within the med medieval, like the rest of the people within the medieval times, those who were full, fully of the mystery of the Qatar life embraced, who embraced it fully and wanted to reach perfection by metal, by means of a pure life, tried to go for a way without having children. Anti-conception had their advantages or their pr preference on the way they could enjoy sex without uh, pregnancy as a consequence. Uh, exactly the opposite of the Catholic look at things. So another reason for the hate the Christian brothers felt about the Qatars. The Parfaits or the enlightened ones of the Qatars wanted to uh, transcend the fleshly lusts via a perfect love of pureness so within the good aspects of this card of the problem you have love and commitment uh, adjustment passion impulsivity a turning point harmony problems transcending problems optimism trust and a choice so if it's a problem for you to ascend or solve your problems you might have a divorce an unregulated life return uh, disharmony uncertainty and foolish plans so negative aspects concerning the lovers are the nine of love and the world of light so let's first check the world of light which is the sun i guess which is in this negative aspect of the reading so the sun light penetrates everything and brings peace and joy. So within this aspect of the negative, you might be having a lack of joy, not being happy, being a bit vain and pride and having pride and not understanding people, having a broken marriage, uh, not being content and being lonely. That might be the negative aspect of your life there. If that's not the case, and within this negative aspect, you might still be feeling content, 
having relentless joy, enjoyment, health, triumph, happiness, friendship, but that might be clarified by the Nine of Love. And the Nine of Love is also a positive card. The Nine of Love points to a successful outcome, a new a newing energy, a gift to solve problems. So it's also aligning with the Sun card and it points to success, advantage, solved problems, triumph and creating joy and pleasure. So if it's within the negative aspect of the reading, uh, there might be a mistake, imperfection, guilt, honesty, still loyalty and open heartedness, freedom and abundance. So this is also pointing that material possessions aren't the solution to your life. So maybe let's see at the positive aspects and we have the two of cups in the upright and the ace of pentacles in the upright that is definitely pointing to positive and uh, uh, it's good that it's uh, also diminishing the negative aspects of this reading this card the ace of pentacles there is satisfaction there is happiness there is success the devotion um, accomplishments and prosperity within uh, the positive aspects of your love life i guess maybe with the two of cups it is pointing to one to someone who is coming towards you you might join uh, strengths uh, let's see what else this card says it might be about uh, attractiveness passion friendliness empathy marriage partnership and friendship so and anyhow the case is the aspect is here present that it points to two streams who come together so you might have a little lost lights within your life or a little lost joy but you find it again with a, a new way you make with the people or the one you love so i guess that helped sagittarius i hope someone new comes in your life just um don't be sad don't be negative look at the positive and uh, things will change for the better if you stay true to yourself so i hope this reading helped and see you next time thanks for watching